So, how's everybody doing with their low carb keto carnivore during the crisis? Hey there, njroot22.com here with a low carb keto carnivore chat. Uh, just so you know, I film my videos uh, months in advance, so I haven't, you know, I did not want to bother like getting all current with the um, crisis. I'm not calling it anything else. I, that, I just, I guess it's just a crisis. I, I don't really like calling it anything else, but I guess I want to talk about how people have been able to keep up with their uh, low carb keto carnivore um, requirements and, and meals uh, with, the, with the difficulties that come along with um, getting food and shopping and all this other stuff. And I have to say, though, it, it hasn't been perfect uh, by any means, but we have made out pretty good. Um, I guess the biggest problem that we've run into uh, most of all is, is not getting the food that we uh, requested or ordered because of shortages or, or limitations from, from the various places we've sourced our food. Um, like I'll, I love Pat Lafrida meat and hamburgers and so on. And a lot of times we'll order like, you know, four or six packs and we'll get none. Uh, so availability is, uh, you know, when you go to the supermarket, you can see they're out of Pat Lafrida. You can look for the second best option. When you're buying food online, um, you can't. Now I should point out that I have no problem. I would go into the supermarket today without a mask on, no problem. But they won't allow me and there'll probably, probably be some sort of social mob who thinks uh, that I'm like some sort of germ spewing devil because I'm not wearing the so-called mask. And that's, uh, that's very bothersome for me. And second of all, let's say I could go into the supermarket and nobody would bother me. Um, I have other individuals in my life that would think that I'm covered with green slime and I wouldn't be allowed to see my family or for uh, 14 days uh, if I had to stay away from 14 days, for 14 days, which is um, utterly ridiculous. I mean, I, I, they're acting like, uh, like I'm walking straight out of Chernobyl and I'm covered with nuclear waste. Um, <clears throat> it, it's, it's really ridiculous. So I, I have, I, I guess, just tried to find the best of all worlds here where I could avoid as much conflict and not sell myself short. Uh, so I, I've decided to embrace the online shopping. And we've done pretty good. Uh, ShopRite in the beginning of this uh, crisis was very hard to get orders and uh, like if I placed a $300 order, it would come back $100 worth of merchandise. Since uh, I guess the end of March, uh, the beginning of April, the online ordering has gotten much better and I'm, I'm finding uh, delivery slots. I guess things are sl slowly opening up here in June, uh, but I'm finding delivery slots a lot easier to get. You could pick them like almost the next day, but we're still doing it once a week. And that sucks because you would buy food normally uh, three to four times a week, uh, just out and about. You'd stop at a supermarket for five minutes to pick up a few things that you need. Now you have to go on a major shopping uh, spree uh, to fill your family's uh, uh, requirements. That said, it's um, this, when you're low carb or carnivore or keto, well, low carb carnivore, it's pretty, um, pretty easy. We have probably a couple weeks worth of ground beef ready to go and, um, and you start diversifying your sourcing options. Whereas we normally went to one place uh, to get our meats um, and every now and then you'd stop at a butcher from, from an outlying town. Like I'd go to a, a but various butchers in, in New Jersey. Um, but then you start diversifying now that your options are limited and you might get uh, scutched on some, some orders. I have a, a friend that, uh, that uh, works at one of those big uh, club stores and I'll get, I can get a seven pound pack of ground beef and sometimes we split it and uh, that helps uh, fill the gap. And it's not the best meat in the world, nor is it the worst. It, nothing beats those blends, those uh, butcher blends. 
Um, we found some one place in Somerset County that had pretty decent meat. Um, and it was a very good price too. I think five, five ninety nine a pound for butcher ground beef is, is pretty good. Um, so, you know, like some of the things that we've had problems with, like bacon, like I, I, you never know because ShopRite had this glitch in case you're wondering. If you're buying, and it took them like two months to, to advise people. I mean, I figured it out right away, but if you're shopping, you tend to want to buy what's on sale. So when you're shopping, you see it's on sale, you'll click buy. But keep in mind, if you click buy on a Friday and you're going to pick it up on a Sunday, that sale may most likely not be valid and you'll get, you have to pay the full price. And in some t cases, you'd buy something at full price and it would be on sale during that, that switch over of the sale prices on Saturday night, Sunday morning. So that, that, was, that was always a problem. But uh, overall, I don't think I'm suffering at all. I, in fact, uh, now that the summer season has picked up and I'm doing like insane amounts of yard work and, uh, and physical labor that I feel healthier and fitter and, and leaner than ever. Uh, not ever, but uh, I mean, because we've been, I think uh, this crisis has led to a, like a little bit of a, uh, uh, need to to uh to hit the hit the juice a little bit more often than we're we're happy with but uh that's it i mean I, i'm just wondering if anybody else has had any kind of uh low carb issues and i'm going to talk about this later on but i know that a lot of these high profile uh youtubers and TikTokers they use uh, these quick shots. They, every scene is like a few seconds long and they, they zoom in and they change angles. And I guess that's the way to get, uh, and I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to make my own video about it. Um, because I think conversation when, when you're trying to share information is better when people are speaking to you, um, almost like a lecture. And I guess lectures are boring. And now because the diminishing attention span of the American public you can't just listen to someone speak. And I'm surprised that, that uh, you know, all these people have to do all these special stunts to uh, get you to watch their video. I'm wondering when that's going to translate into real life. Like when you're talking to somebody in person, let's say once the bars open up and you have to go ah, in their face like, oh, look over there, boom, yeah. You know, it's like, it's like, like do you really have to make things... Is it is there that much difference between looking at a human being on a on a screen, like myself, or talking to them in person? Like like at what point will people because they get so addicted to seeing these quick scenes that they just become glassy eyed when they're talking to you, a, a human being in real person? It, it's going to get to the point where they can't talk to regular people anymore face to face with no cut scenes. They're going to be like, I, I can't talk to let's, let's go make videos and have conversations like that back and forth. And we'll be just be in the matrix. But anyway, that's it. We haven't really had many problems. It's obviously been a little bit of a, uh, a, a setback for the last three months in terms of getting our low carb food and, and shopping has changed. But I th already told you in the beginning that I, I had uh, some issues that I had to sort through. And if I had my way, I'd go right in the supermarket right now. Uh, maybe they should make like, um, I was just thinking about this, like, you know, how you have to pay money to get on the Autobahn. There's no speed limit. Maybe there could be um, like an hour, like they put an hour in the morning for senior citizens. They should also do an hour in the morning for people who won't, who are not scared. Say, let me shop. I'll, I'll assume any and all risks. You could take all your employees and put them in the freaking like the meat locker for like an hour and, and they can all wear masks and ventilators and oxygen tanks and me and anybody else that probably be hundreds of us that don't give a crap and we'll shop, we'll self check out, we'll touch all the buttons and we'll leave. You can wipe the store down and open it up for the rest of the scared populace. I think that is a, a good idea. I may cut this out and, and create a new story about just letting people who don't care shop as long as they sign a waiver that they're not going to sue you. Um, that would be freaking awesome. I, I, I would support any company that does that. So that's it. If you like the uh, video, please hit the bell and the subscribe. I have like 50 followers uh, or uh, on this channel and I ramble a lot, but I think 
that is going to make a comeback and not these cut scenes of everybody doing 50 million things in one tenth of a second. Have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.